Bonjour à tous. Hey everybody. So today was probably the last actual vacation day I'll have because I do have homework. I definitely should have started earlier. <laughs> so I'll probably be starting doing uh, homework tomorrow just because I actually have the time to do it. I should do it instead of just binge watching YouTube and reading and writing, but I did some music writing today and it felt good. It felt really good. The musical thing I talked about today, I worked on. Yesterday, I worked on it today and that was good. And I filled up my other diary so I started a new one and now it just looks like just this generic book of secrets and I love it. It's also bendy and I like that. I like this. I'm not going to show you the contents because that is private. It's private, y'all. In other news, my host sister is here and we're becoming pretty, we're, we're good host sisters. She's chill, I'm chill. We like to talk to each other and we just work around the words we don't know. <laughs> it's fun. She's great. And my host mom's boyfriend is here visiting. And he's really nice. He's funny. I just like to listen to them talk to each other because it's just funny. I love to just listen to them argue because that's what they do. They just argue. <laughs> It's so funny and they're kind of adorable. It's like that old married couple that will not stop going at it. <laughs> it's just hilarious. And then um, my host mom's niece came over and she's staying with us for like three days. And she's also really nice. She's a teacher for um, foreign language people and she teaches French. So basically she can help me learn. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Her name is Marianne, and it's great. I love her. She's great. But yeah, that is what I did today. And I also read more Black Butler because... How can you not be obsessed with it? <laughs> uh, it's so bad. Because I'm on number 14. <laughs> uh, but it's so good. So good. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Also, the first chapter for the story I started yesterday is done. A thousand two hundred and something words. Proud of myself for that. And I will hopefully be continuing that. Don't know how long it's gonna be. I don't plan these things. I just have a general plot line that is completely up to be bent and changed and completely go the opposite direction. <laughs> Simply because I plan out pretty much everything in my life. I have a direction I want to go. I have these pathways and I generally stick to it. I'm a creature of habit, believe it or not. But for some reason, whenever I do anything creative, <laughs> I'm sitting here like, spontaneity rules. <laughs> oh, it's actually so bad. Because then I'll just stop doing something altogether because I have no idea where it's going. <laughs> R.I.P. my fanfiction profile. <laughs> uh, I should stick to things. I should. But hey, I have been doing this for over a month. Can we just let that sink in? I have been filming a video every day for like 37 days now. I feel good about myself. This is creative, kind of. It's me talking to a camera about anything and everything. Does that count as creative? <laughs> Don't know. Don't care. I'm calling it creative for the sake of making myself feel better. And um, in other news, fun time. So I had a little discussion talk type thing with a representative from Teach for America. And she was really nice. 
she was so sweet and she answered all of my questions and I will be applying for that um, this month so I'm excited I'm excited and that because I'm applying early in my junior year I will be able to make my decision I will have more time to make my decision and if I don't uh, get accepted the first time I can try again my senior year um, but yeah I'm getting really excited for that it made me happy and um, so yeah I will be applying for that I will hopefully do the interviews over Skype in March if they decide they want to interview me and hopefully I will be offered a little place in the Teach for America section which would be awesome. I pretty much told them I'd go anywhere but the Northeast. Love Maine. I do. I love it. But like... Snow. Too close to Canada. Canada is wonderful. You should all visit Canada. But visit in like... May. When it's actually nice. <laughs> May through about... Mm, August. May through August. It's fine. And then the cold comes. Winter comes. Okay? The... <laughs> Don't want to do it. Nope. But yeah. That is all I've got for you today, guys. I jumped from little topics because that's just how my brain works, but I will be back tomorrow. It may have more structure. It may not. This is The Megan Show and anything can happen. <laughs> oh wow. Bye everybody.